Hello everyone and welcome back to another Black Desert Online video. Today we'll be covering the Kratuga Ancient Ruins Money Breakdown. First of all, let's talk about the requirements. The spot is recommended for 250 AP, however, from my personal experience, some classes can come with plus 235 AP Kutum. You won't feel much of a difference if you have higher AP because of how quickly mobs die in general, but make sure you have a lot of DP as mobs hit really hard. The recommended DP would be 310, however, you will be able to grind with less, but you will consume more health potions. In order to enter, you will need either a key that can be obtained by combining free sealed ruin slates we drop at the mobs within the ruins or you can use a black spirit claw but this is quite expensive at least here on eu so you can try switching servers in order to try and find an open entrance or ask a guildie to open it for you one smart thing to do when you first enter there is to grind long enough so you have at least another key for the next time you want to enter now, for pets, I was using 3 tier 4 and 2 tier 3 pets. Pet level should not impact you very much unless you're over clearing the rotation, and I would say having 5 tier 3 pets would be the minimum recommended. One pearl item I would recommend to have so you can grind this spot efficiently is the tent. You don't have any repair NPC or vendor inside the ruins, so you will need to exit Kratuga unless you have a tent. Because of the recent added grinding spot, Kratuga is no longer contested, so you can easily find a server where your desired rotation is available. In terms of rotation, I've used a room which can easily be extended in case you're overclearing it. The rotation is quite easy to manage as it only has 6 pools in the first room and 5 pools in the other, more like an A figure. Gear-wise, I've managed to save enough silver to buy a pendim tree, so I'm at 286 AP and 305 DP on a succession vault. Now that we've been through the basic information, let's have a look at the actual results. I've tracked a total of 10 hours, all of them granted with my succession Valkyrie. I've used a normal loose girl, comma Sylvian Blessing, and there was a drop event for 50% on all servers, so it can be considered that I've grinded on the Arsha server. As you can observe from the tracker, most of the income comes from trash, about 38 million per hour. Other more significant drops are the laden necklaces, tungrad earrings, and elker bar. Please be aware that the prices can fluctuate based on your region and the period of grinding. Also, another significant drop is the Forbidden Book, which can be directly sold to the marketplace or combine five of them for a boss crawl in order to get memory fragments. Now, I couldn't find what items drop at which mobs, but from my personal experience, the grad earrings are dropping at Bamo or Bamo and El Kish. Elkar is dropping at below 10 or below 10, which is the biggest one, and the latent necklace is dropping at the latent boss, which is randomly spawning when you reach the third level of security. Now, let's talk about security mini game. There will be a chance for security to spawn, and you will get a message for it. For the first level, you will need to kill 5 groups of mobs which are static and can be seen on the minimap with elite icons. Please be aware that you will have to kill them within a certain period of time, otherwise the mobs from the next level will not spawn. For the second round, you will have to kill 2 enhanced mobs which are bigger than usual and also deal more damage but then die just as fast as the regular ones. In the third round, we have the actual Leighton, which is a bit tanky and has a chance to drop the Leighton necklace around 25% with a regular loot scroll. Another great thing about this spot is that it drops Yona's fragments, which are used to craft other rare accessories. Personally, I'm using them to craft crescent rings, which take only 15 Yonas and can be sold for a decent price. So, as an overall, I've made around 142 million per hour, which is not bad at all, and I would definitely recommend this spot.
Now I've also decided to grind with an advanced loot scroll and after 10 hours I've made around 58 million per hour from trash alone, while with a normal loot scroll I've made around 38 million per hour from trash. As an overall, using an advanced loot scroll would bring the total average money per hour to 162 million. Keep in mind that in order to make an advanced loot scroll, you will have to sacrifice two normal loot scrolls. So my advice would be to use the advanced one if you don't have much time to grind, if you want to push for an upgrade or if you have a big stack of scrolls. Personally, I'm using normal loot scroll when I grind Kratuga. Finally, let's talk about Agris. I'm currently using 49 to 50k points and I make around 81.6 million per hour. Doing the math, 50k points of Agris would mean 5.36k Kratuga Trash, which is around 43 million. So I would highly recommend to spend your Agris at Gaifin or Mirumok Ruins as you make a lot more silver there per Agris point spent. Now that we are at the end of the video, don't forget to check the description box below for extra details and link to my spreadsheet where you can find all my tests down so far. If you've liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything you would like me to know or any location you would like me to test, do leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to read and reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.